Have you been wanting to remodel a space or maybe decorate an area, do some DIY projects, but you just don't wanna spend a ton of money on household goods? Today, I've got five places that you are gonna love. Oh my God! Wow! These are my secret places that I don't usually tell anyone about, but all right, I'm gonna share it with you guys because you continue to watch this channel. So number one, bargains and buyouts. Bargains and Buyouts has two locations in the Cincinnati area that I'm aware of. And kind of the cool thing is, yes, a lot of it like you can get at Ashley Furniture, but if you can find it there, it's usually a slightly better price and it's in stock, so you don't have to order it. The other thing I like is that you can negotiate. Did you know that you can negotiate price? Like, how cool is that? Like, and how often does that happen when you walk into a furniture store? I've been told some people do it in Ashley Furniture, but I've worked for furniture stores and that was, that was not a thing. Just gonna tell you that right now. So bargains and buyouts, they are on the west side, but check, get signed up for their newsletter list or follow them on Facebook. They do have some pretty spectacular sales. And one of the things that I really like to shop for there rugs. They have some really nice quality rugs and then they have some lower price rugs. But if you're looking for something that's maybe a little higher quality, but you don't want to spend the high dollar, it's a great place to check out. All right. So if you are looking for some furnishings, maybe some doors, they had some lighting, found like new paint supplies, but they weren't super expensive. Like I got paint trays and several brushes that I could easily throw away. Spent like $11. Where? At the Habitat for Humanity Restore in the Bond Hill area. So that one, I mean, we don't have a lot of photos. Most of it is like just furnishings. I was kind of surprised because I thought a lot of people were taking, you know, things out of their home and, and putting them there. That's what I had seen in the past. So they do have different locations around the area and maybe there's another store that keeps more of those types of items. But Bond Hill, what I saw was mostly furnishings. This has been like one of my all time favorite secret spots because when we were working on our St. Bernard house, we were able to go over there and find wood flooring that matched what was already in the house. And the reason I went back was because we were once again working on this project to get it ready for sale and we needed trim. And it was very unique and it would have cost a lot of money to like have it routered to match everything else. So we had kind of a couple of options, find something that matched or change everything out to just very simple, plain woodwork, which you don't want to do when you have an older home that has really unique, beautiful woodwork. So where is this magical place that I love? Well, it's called Building Value. It's in Northside and they do some really cool things there. They actually go in and deconstruct buildings when they're getting ready to be torn down. So like all those houses in Montgomery and Blue Ash that they, tear down and build something bigger. If the seller or owner um, is willing to give salvage rights to building value or somewhere like that, you know, they bring a group of people in to remove kitchen cabinets, toilets, sinks, all kinds of things. And they give these people an opportunity to work in construction when maybe they wouldn't have been given a chance somewhere else. So I love that. I think it's a really neat opportunity for people to kind of get into that line of work. Lord knows we need more and more 
tradespeople. But the other thing they do is they will take these these things they take out of building. So all, it's not going into the landfill. It's being diverted, goes back to their retail location, and then they sell it for, you know, a profit for them that helps them keep their programs running, but it also gives you the opportunity to maybe buy cabinets for a project that you wouldn't have been able to afford. Uh, my last trip that I was in there, they had an entire kitchen, including Fisher and Paykel, like refrigerated drawers, which <laughs> are super expensive, little mini fridges like this. I mean, it was literally the entire kitchen and they had a bar from, I'm pretty sure it was like a wet bar in the basement. The whole entire thing, it had to be over $100,000 worth of cabinets and appliances, range hood, like literally all the stuff. They were selling it for $15,000. And as much as that's like, oh my gosh, like why am I gonna buy secondhand goods that are $15,000? Well, again, like it gave you the opportunity if, if it would fit a space or maybe a couple of different spaces that you had, it's a bargain because you could spend $15,000 on just cabinets and they wouldn't have been that quality. So building values is one of my favorite like little places just everything that they do and then you walk in there and there's like all this old hardware and mantles and doors and just all kinds of things that maybe you wouldn't have found somewhere else. Next on our list, the Cincinnati Reuse Center. I didn't even know this place existed until I was in Building Value and I told them what I was looking for and they were like, hey, did you try the Reuse Center? So they told me where it was, which is really close to the viaduct going over to the west side. We'll have all the information down below, but this is a big old kind of warehouse or a factory and it, <laughs> It was pretty impressive. They had new goods in the box. They had used goods. They buy like the doors from Lowe's and Home Depot that are on display and then they sell them for way less than what it would cost you to buy one that was brand new. I could not believe the amount of flat pack shaker cabinets that they had. So what is a flat pack? That just means you're gonna put them together yourself. Reasonable prices, like all kinds of things that were just, uh, I, I was just in shock that, that any place had this much stuff. And then they have a whole area upstairs that was like newel posts and balusters for stairs, tin ceiling. And then they had like another kind of interesting area that was just antiques. Now, the thing that I thought was really interesting is that they had a lot of, they had a lot of new products that were like actual building products, like, like mortar mix or grout or, um, you know, just things like that, that maybe they were a little bit cheaper to purchase them there than it was to take another trip and go to Lowe's or Home Depot. So all in all, I was elated about finding this little place because it was just, yes, off the beaten path, but definitely a surprise. And last but not least, I just, I'm in love. Every time I walk in this store, I am there for an hour. And uh, again, I'm not really a shopper, but I think the next time I go in, I'll have a little more of an idea of what I'm looking for. But so far, I just walk in and I'm, I just keep getting distracted. But this place is called Home Emporium. It is across from the Tri-County Mall. So very centrally located and they have new goods, but they have amazing prices on certain items. So hardwood flooring and even some of their like LVP was very reasonably priced. Butcher block countertops and 
Then they also had similarly styled shelves if you wanted to do like that open shelving kind of thing, even though it's kind of going out, maybe you have a place that you need some shelves that happen to be solid wood. Also had a ton of vanities that were just really unique. Things that you would not see at your regular big box stores. So I loved that. And like I said, every time I go in, I'm like, Ooh, wait, what, what's that? What's this? And they have furniture, which sadly I, I need a ton of. I'm really bad about finishing things because I always want the most expensive thing ever. And I don't want to spend the money. <laughs> Do you know anyone like that? Um, yeah, I just have a really hard time with that. So I kind of love this store. And again, their rug selection was very interesting. If you're someone who, again, you want that more high-end rug and you don't want to pay high-end prices. I, I just was very impressed with what they had. It was stuff I hadn't seen anywhere. So this store definitely very unique and you can get a lot of different things, bath, kitchen, you know, decor items, furniture, a lot of different price points, but you know, a lot of stuff that, that they just don't have everywhere else. So I love it for that reason. And that's why I call it one of my favorite secret spots to shop for home goods. All right, but where do you shop? Do you live here? If you've got some cool secret spots that maybe you're not crazy about sharing with the world, but you're willing to share it with us, tell us about it down below. I know a lot of you are looking to move and you need to just get some projects done and we want to do it on a budget. So let's work together and make sure that you check out this video if you are looking to take that next step and get your house sold.